Hamas would have no chance in their war against Israel if it were not for their friends in the media. The media are doing, as always, a stellar job of providing cover for some of the world's worst people. There's a long pattern of this, whether it's the New York Times defending the Haladamar over in Ukraine, just pretending it wasn't existing, sending Walter Durante over there to cover for Stalin, or minimizing the Holocaust by backpaging it, whether it was Walter Cronkite claiming that the Viet Cong had essentially won the Vietnam War, fought it to a stalemate after the devastating Tet Offensive that actually devastated the Viet Cong, or whether it is today, the New York Times doing as much as it can to morally legitimize Hamas. It is astonishing to watch the legacy media at work. The legacy media is peppered with a bunch of people who really don't like the West having power, who are constantly searching for moral equivalence, pretending that an objective news media exists as they continue to provide cover for Hamas in a wide variety of ways. It's sick and it's astonishing. But I guess we shouldn't be astonished. They've been doing it for decades.